back in ETV. Bienvenidos a un nuevo programa de Balcony TV Valencia. Yo soy Chris y hoy con nosotros Julie Dorón. Que lo disfrutéis. Gracias, Julie. Thank you. How does it feel to be playing your music here in the main balcony of our city? It feels pretty cool. Que fuerte. <laughs> it's I'm, cool. I'm doing this interview in English, sí. but I know your new LP. It's in Spanish. Yes. So how are you doing this? Do you memorize the letter of the songs? Um, well, so I, I've been coming to Spain uh, since 2003, maybe, and I was first invited here by Jesus Llorente um, from Aquarela, and he had invited me to come, yeah, like in 2003, and he had 
or maybe four, but he had put out some of my songs in 2003, maybe, or four. Anyways, uh, so I've known him for a long time, and every time I come, I try to learn more Spanish and learn more Spanish, but then I go home and I kind of forget that I want to learn Spanish. And then, So the last time I was here, or two times ago maybe, we talked about the idea of making a Spanish language project. And so Jesus uh, chose many of my songs, uh, like he chose a selection, and uh, translated them. And with this translation project, he really took uh, really a lot of care and he made sure to actually kind of, it was almost like rewriting the song. So he was trying to translate them as if it was Julie Dueron writing in Spanish mm -hmm. and not, they're not literal translations. And so then, um, so they're really beautiful and very poetic translations, probably more poetic than the original <laughs> songs. And um, so I, yeah, I, um, his partner Nerea at Aquarela, uh, she did all the, she recorded voice memos of the songs, the lyrics, so that I was able to reference the lyrics uh, and then sing them. So I learned how to do the pronunciation from that, and then I just been memorizing. Yeah. Good job, <laughs> because we know it's not easy, and we are used to li to, to listen to the music in English. So sí, yeah. it's kind of strange. But anyway, and you've been in Primavera Sound twice, or at least I think four times. So yeah. how does it feel? Uh, what is the experience that it brings to an artist to be there? I think it's a well. I think it's a very prestigious kind of festival. Like people, uh, when they find out you're playing Primavera Sound, it's like very cool to the rest of the world that you get to play it. So um, it's a pretty amazing time. There's so much going on and so much music to check out. And I've been really lucky in the past because a lot of times I'm playing a bit smaller stages, and that for me works better than a big stage. I wouldn't. I would probably like, would not. Be able to do a big stage come on <laughs> <laughs> maybe someday um but yeah it's a good experience and it's really wonderful to be uh, like in spain especially in june so barcelona or barcelona obviously is really nice time of year to be there and a lot of good music and they treat us really well every time so you will yeah. love it yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> so thank you very much for being here in our balcony you are very welcome and i wish that you continue learning spanish oh yeah and totally For the next time, sure, we will do this program in Spanish. Sí, sí. So, eh, <laughs> nos vemos en el próximo episodio de Balconito y Valencia desde el balcón del ayuntamiento. Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí con nosotros hoy. Mm -hmm. Hasta luego. Bye. Adiós.